morning. Lots of people out here this morning for the sunrise stroll and chat. Good morning. Welcome to Magla. Oh, thank you. This is wonderful. Some regular followers of the Sunrise Stroll and Chat arrived last evening. said it was very emotional just to come here to be at the Sea of Galilee because of that connection. I think it should be very emotional for anybody to come to the Sea of Galilee in a way because of the connection of the Gospels, of the of course, that would be any place on the Sea of Galilee because it would be evocative of all that we had from our childhood. And in a particular place, I can understand, could be very emotional because somebody would have um, that particular connection, also blessings and, and graces, understanding, insights that could also be life impacting I see four people out on paddle boards and I just think that could be some of our guests with Kathleen. Let me see if I can get out there, out there in the distance, in the center of the screen. get going in the morning we have to take our our bearings as we wake up as we come to grips with seeing and hearing and moving <laughs> and thoughts start to move start to come together. It's been a whole process for humanity, looking out on the world and gathering thoughts and understanding and recognizing the returning seasons and the patterns of the day and the night and the stars, learning astronomy learning biology, learning farming, that was a huge step. And today the race technologically is accelerating, gathering our thoughts on the meaning of things, the value of things. Relationships building, within a lifetime and then from generation to generation, legends and lore. Encountering other cultures that have seen it other ways.
And the talk today is about new life, about the love of God. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your face, faces may not blush with shame. And the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. And that's our psalm. And this line from Psalm 34. In John's Gospel, then it really shows up in another way, you know. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish. You know, when do we perish? We perish when we're helpless, when we can't control the downhill free fall. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world might be saved through him. And we see this new life that's in <coughs> the first disciples in the story today of the Acts of the Apostles. How the hard times that hit them, put into prison, and suddenly the gates were open and they walked out. This is just, <laughs> you know, it's more like science fiction. And they're under tremendous pressure from the authorities. And they go out and proclaim boldly, with courage, with intensity, they go out and proclaim the good news again. Right into the temple. And then they're arrested again. They're living with a new elan, a new freedom, a new life. The cowardly Peter that denied Jesus three times is a new man. You don't recognize him. Oh, look at this. We got the uh, catfish here. Yesterday when I finished the posting and doing all the editing, one of the volunteers called me and said, you got to come over to the catfish. They're stranded on the water and out of the water and so we went over there I should have checked that out now I just saw some major catfish here and so I got them on film if you want to check out the Instagram little film yesterday there were I, let me go back there maybe we have enough time before we finish to see if there's some still there so that you can get a taste of it as well but there there was it was fascinating to see that they were just lying there on the ground they weren't on the, on, in the water. And so this um, volunteer thought that they were in danger, you know, that they could die or they were gone already. And I started to poke them with a little stick and then they started to move and they scrambled back. They were lying in a little, very shallow little streamlet of water that was coming out and into the lake. And that was obviously a little colder, that water, I think. So maybe that was attracting them, who knows. Let's go over and see if they're over there. During the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison. And they go out and proclaim boldly again. That's amazing, like what nerve. What nerve gets you to do that? And then they're arrested again. And you see the transformation of weak people 
into great and strong witnesses. This is the, the new life. This is one of the expressions of the new life. And they don't have hatred to, toward these people. This is amazing. At least I'm astonished by it, fascinated by it, how this comes about. And you have the other ones who are very sick, have a major illness, major dependency on other people's help, and they're so humble and joyful. And that's a new life in them. That's a life of, of grace, a life of, uh, of values. When something bad happens to us, we're usually very grumpy and complaining. So this is where the catfish were yesterday. This little stream, there's water, and they were huge, you know? And then I did a little video, and while I was editing an extra, that second video uh, for Instagram with these catfish right here, you know, I lost the video. So about 10 minutes later, they came back in, and I was able to do another one and put it up for you, where we don't have any catfish here today. So they must have heard that they're on on display worldwide. Maybe it's our fears that imprison us. The truth shall set you free. It's a gift of grace. And we can ask for that. The Lord hears the cry of the poor because this new life is not ours. We don't have a bank of that ourselves. We don't have. That's a gift, that's a grace. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. So we're poor in that currency. And we can say, Lord, help me. Give me the strength and the grace, the, the gift to be a point of peace for my family, to be a point of encouragement. A point of reconciliation. point of calm reflection, helpful, not counting the cost, self-giving, laying down my life for others. Freed from our fears. God bless you. See you later, alligators.